Good morning, y'all. Welcome out to the patio. Um, this morning, I would like to do a flip through of my Foxy Fix Spice Rings. Um, this is the personal size. It is in pepper with pink elastics, black stitching, and the rose gold fox and pip bow on it. So, last time we came in, I had uh, Franklin Covey inserts in it. That's what I've been working out of for the last several months. They're a 4.25 insert versus the 3.75 of a traditional personal sized insert. So I've resized things. Let's see what all will fit in this. Let me start this way first. So when I took the larger inserts out, I was able to stuff her a little bit more. I have three pins in it. I have my black ballpoint, which is a pin gems. This one came from the 1407 Christmas box. Then I have just a regular highlighter and then my favorite gray pen. So, have an ollie clip on the outside, which is more decoration. I really don't put anything on it. So let's see what we have going on inside. I took and used, repurposed the inserts that I had. Not the inserts, I apologize, dividers. I need more coffee. Um, what I did was I took the 3.75 dividers that I got from Shelby Lico, cut off the width on the end and just repunched them. So first I have a divider. I have my if lost, lost please return to. Um, a affirmations page, just notes to myself. So my dividers, all of my dashboards, all of my pockets, and my previous setups were ones that I made myself. It's been a crazy week at my house. I had some medical issues come up that has just zapped my energy. So I am using the Foxy Fix dashboards. So I just went in and added a little bit of decoration to them. I'm covering up my, I forgot my debit card was in there. I'm covering up my info and just slipped them in there. And then I'm using the Foxy Fix card inserts, which I like these. These are actually kind of snug. Um, to be honest, I can't tell you how much they are. These came in a rack. No, they weren't part of a rack. One of my previous ring binders I bought off a buy sell trade group had these in them. And because I always used wider inserts, I never used those. So I have my picture of my husband and I. I just took a piece of vellum and put my favorite little Valentine's Day sticky notes, tore a few off and used double sticky side tape on the notepad to adhere it. Same vellum, just cut it down. My notes section, um, just carried some notes over. Now these I did redo. Um, a lot of people ask where I get my inserts that aren't dated. I actually make 90% of all of my own inserts. So for my notes section for February, I used um, several different digital um, scrapbook papers. This one I did more for Mardi Gras. It's Louisiana. I got to put a little purple in there. Um, I used part of a coffee kit because it would flow well into March a little more Mardi Gras and it's just regular just some note pages in there another piece of acetate another one of the dividers my planner addict to-do list and then my list section so I have a social media tracker I have my go wild list yay so I'm so excited I was able to get a ticket for go wild so I've kind of started my prep list for go wild my TV shows that we're binging on Netflix, my open and pending orders, my TV premiere dates. So a lot of shows are coming back um, in the spring. And then my husband and I like to do different movies for date night. So some of the movies we didn't go to the theater to see that we want to watch at home on date night. So this is new for me. <coughs> I have had a hard time finding personal sized inserts that meet my time management needs. As a functional planner, 
it's been very challenging. I like Annie Plans printables. They're very cute. They're easy to decorate, but they're not necessarily the best insert for me when it comes to time management. So I went on Etsy and I looked at some DIY fish and I downloaded the DIY fish inserts for the first quarter. So it also has the yearly pullouts, which I'm used to having with my Franklin Covey. And it's set up almost the same. There's a few little minor differences in it, but they can be used the same. Um, another one of the dashboards, I put an Erin Condren pin loop on it. What I was finding was with the pin loops that I made myself and clipped on there, because I had three in there, they were cute, they were decorative, but they weren't very functional. So I went ahead and just popped some Erin Condren pin loops on the back of the dashboards. The neat things about these, you can peel these off if next month I don't want the pin loop on this one. I use the little Goo Gone, wipe it down, and the sticky residue comes off. Another little small thing of sticky notes, I think this one came from Planner Society. And then my February inserts. So this is where things are a little bit different. If you haven't used the DIY fish inserts, they are geared more towards time management, goal management. Oh look, there's a little piece of washi holding these two together. Okay, we'll get that later. Um, this is your monthly overview. So when you first come in, you have your monthly overview, and I'm gonna move this over a little bit so you can see these fold outs a little bit better. Um, I put a February tab on the top, and then the monthly overview calendar is a little bit different. These are, this row is all Monday, this row is all Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, so on and so on and so on. So this is the first week of February, the second week of February, third, fourth, and then the last week of February. I went in and put the retail calendar weeks at the top because working retail, our calendar is crazy. Um, it has a spot for you to do a master to-do list for February. I'm using this for important notes for next month because I don't have another sheet in. Um, and then tasks that reoccur every day for my job. And this is still a work in process. I'm still kind of getting used to it. Then I have a notes section and then we go into the first week of February. Now the neat thing with this, this fold out, I can put tasks that are specific to this week and then it's gonna line up. So I kind of liked that. And then a notes section. So you have the weekly sidebar on it. I just have a water tracker in there again instead of doing it on the daily pages. And then you have your weekly tracker here. And you can kind of see it's been a weird week for me. I haven't been tracking things well. So I'm still getting the feel of them. And then you have another weekly overview. And I think what I'm gonna do moving forward is use this page to track my husband's work schedule and things that I need to get done at the house. And I'm gonna leave this one strictly for work-related tasks. And then another note page, and then we get into our week on two pages. So you have your task section, you have another little section. Here is actually a daily tracker, which is this one, which you could use for your hydration tracker or something like that. I personally just didn't like it, so I covered it up with some washi. And then you can see where I stuck some sticky notes in there. There's not a lot of decoration this week. So, like I said, I had some stuff going on this week. I actually, a week ago, spent the day in the hospital and I'm having some health issues. And I'm wanting to track my sleep and when I'm taking the medication. So I added some Spyrodexes just to come in and track that. Now, if you use Spyrodexes already, um, she has inserts that have the Spyrodex already printed on them. And those were kind of neat, and I almost got those, but I'm not consistent in using a Spyrodex. I tend to use them 
periodically just to help me track things. So I just printed them out on some sticker paper and added them into the planner. And then we get into today. And then I really haven't started decorating much for next week. I do want to add more of my deco, more of my, my cutesy stuff that I add to it. So when you come in to the end of the month, there are some extra note pages. If I can find the end of the month. Where's the end of the month? There it is. So I just did another next month, um, March week one, March week two, week three. So I can go in and add sticky notes or notes as things come up. Then I have another one of the Foxy Fix dashboards. I added um, a Planner Society pocket on the back just for some cards and receipts. Then we move into my housekeeping section. So I resized my housekeeping inserts. And again, excuse this week, I know. All right, I'm back. I apologize, I had some te technical difficulties. Um, so house cleaning inserts are next. They were resized for the personal, so I lost a little bit of my width. Again, I haven't been consistent this week because of some personal issues, but they fit well and they still leave me lots of space and room. So I'm happy with that. And then I have um, Once More With Love. I think that's a Once More With Love. No, it's not. It's a Love Cynthia, maybe. I don't remember who did that. Um, my regular pockets that came again with my Shelby Lee Co. And then my Bills Due section. So I went in and resized my little Bills Due. So I would have those. I did a bi-weekly savings plan. Um, let me mark that off because I pulled that cash yesterday to put in my cash envelope for this year. Piece of vellum the planner girl mag um, and then my spending logs are next some more vellum and then just the homage to Mardi Gras I don't think I broke the information in here I had to resize my account login information and then my work section is my last section again that has just notes and information for work and then Foxy Fix does make the page lifts. I have a little bit of cash in the back. Um, the neat thing with this, the pocket, I have those login pages and other pages that I haven't resized and gotten the information transferred over to the new size. And then this was a dashboard that I made to put my pin loop on and it just wasn't firm enough. What I'm thinking is I'm gonna have to get some 10 mil to attach that to so it'll be a little bit more, more sturdy and less floppy so my mid-February probably next week I'm off for a couple of days I'll really sit down get some new dividers made and spend some time and energy on this to get it set up the way that I really like it now in the last one I said I wasn't really thrilled with the Franklin Covey inserts in it by putting in the DIY fish inserts and resizing everything, the size is perfect. Um, the leather is very durable. I throw it in my backpack. I throw it in my purse, my computer bag. I don't have any scratches on it yet. One of the girls got a little bit of makeup on it. It wiped right off. Um, the elastics seems to not be quite as tight so I think I just needed to back it um, break it in but I do feel like because I'm so stuffed that I'm pulling it through here so what I may end up needing to do is just untie and give this just a hair more length to it because it's so stuffed um, but overall, I'm really, really liking the rings, and I'm still getting used to the new size. So, you know, I always say you have to give something the 28 days. You can't try it for a week and say, I don't like it. 
you know, you got to go through that adjustment period and that time frame to kind of get used to developing the new habits when you switch out your planner inserts. That's one reason why I'm not a huge fan of switching my inserts out every month. I try to find a system that works for me and stick with it for the majority of the year. Um, I think that's important in developing healthy time management habits. So until next time, just remember we all got a plan and we all do it a little bit different. And on that note, I need to get my list for today started. So y'all have a good one. Bye.